So what I've got here on the bench today then is a uh, cheap little Yagi antenna that I uh, picked up off eBay from China and uh, some of my subscribers already know that I'm trying to search for a uh, Yagi antenna that costs roughly about the same as uh, one of my Biquad Yagis so I can test it against uh, that too so I can show the performance of the uh, hybrid Biquad Yagi next to the Yagi but uh, I came across this little one it didn't cost a great deal of money it cost around five pounds and uh, free shipping but uh, I want to show you a quick little test now because I'm really surprised how well this performs it really is a nice little antenna so I'm testing this uh, little Chinese uh, Yagi antenna at the moment and uh, here on the uh, screen you can see the uh, graph for an access point that I actually used in the previous video of the uh, 12 element uh, log periodic test and uh, it's coming in it's just slightly under 80 percent it's probably about 86 percent so it's uh, quite a good little performer i'm uh, quite uh, surprised how well this uh, little antenna is actually performing and it's not just the fact that it's uh, up there at about 96 97 percent it's uh, a block of complete red it hasn't uh, really dropped out at all it's a really strong performer i'm really quite surprised and here's all the uh, access points uh, that uh, it's picking up a few of them are dead of course but uh, look at that i've got it in the fixed position and at one point it uh, picked up 55 different access points so just on that alone it's a it's a nice little performer i'm quite pleased with this antenna so as you saw in that test it does actually perform pretty well so what i'm going to do is crack this open and uh, we'll see what's actually going on in there and it's probably a uh, pcb of uh, probably about three or four elements uh, parasitic elements and a uh, driven element and a reflector i can't see it being any uh, bigger than that and uh, it comes with this uh, nice little stand here that uh, you can alter the uh, angle of uh, this antenna the uh, actual coax itself does feel a slightly better quality than uh, the uh, last um, wi-fi antenna that i looked at although i think um, you know if you were to cut this down to a uh, shorter length you probably uh, you know up the performance of this antenna slightly because it's uh, it is uh, quite a thin uh, coax and it probably is very lossy so if you swap this out for something uh, a little bit more beefy or even cut this down slightly to say uh, this kind of length you probably would get uh, a few more bars on that uh, signal strength just by doing that so let's crack this little antenna open then and see what's actually going off in here because it does uh, perform really really well so we'll see if we can actually uh, duplicate this antenna so I can't see any screws on this it's probably just held together with some plastic clips I can't feel a uh, screw for instance underneath that uh, label there so I'll get in there with a the spudger and see if we can open it up so I managed to get the uh, PCB out of the case itself the case seems to be uh, glued down as well as clips so I managed to prise this end open and uh, pull the PCB out now it is a uh, little PCB Yagi antenna and uh, it's quite a nifty simple little design I did uh, pull the uh, signal wire off its uh, solder point here actually pulling it out but we can repair that later and uh, we've got the signal wire connected to uh, this first half of the dipole here on this side and we've got the back reflector which is uh, connected on the underside through some uh, little veers here and the uh, signal wire the outer braid of the coax is soldered down onto that and uh, if we flip it over we've got the uh, reflector here on this side connected through those veers and then the uh, second dipole is actually connected directly to that so we've just got the uh, two parasitic elements here and here so it's uh, a nice small compact design now those of you who have uh, subscribed to me for some time now will probably know that I have a uh, fondness for uh, antennas that have uh, quite a lot of gain but still keep a really small footprint. From a uh, design point of view it's uh, a lot more interesting for me anyway to actually design something that's uh, powerful but uh, small. You know uh, the uh, different uh, 
hurdles that you have to overcome to achieve that i just find it a lot more rewarding than uh, you know making something like a uh, helical antenna that's um you know 15 feet long i mean all right it might have uh, 20 dbi of gain but uh, i much prefer to do something on a small basis and uh, still have that high gain i just prefer that from a uh, design point of view now instead of actually just uh, getting my ruler or my calipers out and uh, telling you the different measurements of this yogi if you wanted to reproduce it yourself what i've actually done is i've uh, made a uh, pdf so you can actually download it print it off and uh, you can make your own little uh, pcb using uh, this design if you want to so what i've done i've made this template here using the measurements of uh, that little yagi and uh, you can download this and uh, etch one out for yourself if you want to and uh, something else i've done as well is this uh, little square here in this corner uh, it should measure 30 millimeters by 30 millimeters so if you get your ruler out just to double check that you got the scaling right and yes i've done a little typo here but i'll uh, sort it out for the one that you can download but unfortunately um, the uh, coax does let the side down a little bit it does actually feel better than uh, what it actually is i think it's because it's got this uh, quite thick uh, pvc coating on here but uh, it really is like speaker wire the inner braid there the uh, actual signal wire is uh, really pathetic that really is something akin to uh, speaker wire so i doubt very much whether this is uh, 50 ohms it's probably just uh, some kind of uh, coax cable they've got lying around at the Shinzing market and uh, yeah you can get a signal out of the Viagi as uh, we've just seen but uh, if you use some uh, proper quality coax with this little PCB then uh, it'll probably do a lot better than uh, it does with uh, something like this so all in all then with this uh, antenna i don't think it's uh, too bad at all for the money it um, is definitely performs better than the uh, one for all antenna which was more expensive than this and uh, yeah you've got some uh, cheap coax here that probably uh, doesn't deserve to be called coax and uh, if you remove that you'll probably get better performance out of this but uh, even with this uh, cheap coax it does perform rather well so I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, little video. I've got a few more cheap antennas coming that we can take a look at in future videos. And uh, if you want to have a go at uh, making this yourself, uh, I'll of course include the PDF document in the description. And uh, if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and uh, hopefully you'll join me for the next one.